What is up, everybody? I am your legendary commander here, and we are here to talk today about the dino that everybody comes to our tame, and that is the Rex. The Rex is a special dino and might as well be considered to have had two updates. One, the TLC update, which gave a beautiful Rex, as you can see on the left there, and then the Tech Rex, which came later on, which is what everybody tames these days, just because it's normally stronger. And uh, both these Rexes are very, very good. However, most people at, at this point defer to the Tech Rex. So what makes people want to tame the T-Rex? Well, the T-Rex is still one of the best dinos in the game. And honestly, for its role, it even beats out the Giga. You just have to get a good... So how do you tame one of these guys? Well, it's pretty simple. It's what they call a knockout tame. You just go ahead and get your Trank Rifle or whatever you have. I'm going to be using a very powerful Trank Rifle to knock this out very quickly. And... As long as you have enough movement speed, you can freehand it or you can build a cage. All you do is shoot it with the train darts until it passes out, and that's the end of it. Be careful though, if you don't have enough movement speed, you may have something happen more like this. Base stats on a Rex aren't too bad, honestly, but when they grow up to be a real boy, they turn out to be a lot better. Uh, level 1, as you can see, pretty low, but when you get them higher, they turn out to have some really good stats. Well, somebody might tell you to use kibble on these guys, which is the Pulmonal Scorpius kibble. You can also just go ahead and use mutton on them. It does just as good of a job without the whole Pulmonal Scorpion farm and a lot less effort to go find some mutton. It's still relatively quick, too. A tame Rex is only going to get you so far, though. What you really need to do is breathe them in. You can see this tame Rex here is only doing 314 damage, but what you'll find is when you go grab the Red Rex, it's going to do a lot more damage. With this Rex fully leveled now, I can actually go ahead and take on Wild Diggas. It's got a 69 point saddle, 55 points into health, and 56 points into melee. About this point, Diggas start to not be a problem anymore. Keep in mind that those are base stats after tame. Uh, this is not even after leveling, which leveling can push this Rex up to 100,000 health. And when they boost, they're doing 1129 damage to a Giga. that battle I took it a step further. I went ahead and spawned a 180 Giga, put a 109 point saddle on my Rex, and then took my mate boosted uh, Rex and added it to the fight. Between the two Rexes they absolutely obliterated it and one was not even bred as you can see it's doing one third the damage that I'm doing. With the improved saddle and the constant mate boost you can see I'm actually even doing a better job about surviving this round and you can see we're even actually taking more damage but we're gonna whoop this guy's butt very very quickly. The Rex to the left is also not even a bred one but the one we tamed just a few minutes ago. I did level it up and give it 100,000 health just so it wouldn't die, but you wouldn't take anything less out. Sadly, even after defeating a Giga, a Rex and Gordon won't scare small dinos such as Dodos and Raptors, which only makes them poop themselves, which doesn't really help too much. Last but definitely not least, Rexes can actually stand on the back of a Quetzal platform saddle, which means they can be transported across the map much faster than like a Giga can be, where a Giga has to walk across the map, and or you have to perform certain tricks to get the Giga to stay on. This is a one-man job. You can actually get the Rex transported across the map by yourself without having to transport it with an additional partner. A final quality to the Rex is that it came very early in the game when the game first launched, and that actually made it to where the resources required to build a saddle were very cheap, only requiring metal, fiber, and hide. Metal being the most expensive, but all those resources can be obtained fairly easy, and then once they have been obtained, or if you happen to get lucky and find the saddle, uh, you can build some pretty hefty Rex saddles. Well, you can find blueprints for other saddles early on. The base saddle comes at level 74. This is an okay saddle for when you're first learning to ride one. But if you happen to find one, which is actually very difficult to find in drops, it's going to be much, much more helpful, and you can start riding even sooner. That's really all I have for Rex in the year 2018. Hopefully the Rexes get either, honestly, more buff, because who doesn't love good Rex, and who wouldn't like to see it better? We should be seeing Aberration Rexes in the Extinction map when it does come out, which we might see some pretty cool stuff with that. But other than that, that's all I've got for this one. If you all know anything about the Rex I don't know, share it down in the comments. Leave it for somebody else. That way they can read it and go and I, I, just so I know as well, so I can learn. Because that's very helpful when I can learn this stuff and then use it on my enemies. So, 
Definitely share that stuff in the comments down there. If you haven't already, check out the other videos of like this for dinos in 2018, what they're like today. We're going to be doing a whole series on all these. And uh, I'm going to hit every single dinosaur. And do this. I'm really enjoying this. I can't even play the PvP stuff right now. My computer's having issues with uh, our current map. So I should be getting these videos out a lot more often. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Y'all take care. And I'll catch you next time.